Hello YouTube, this is Mid Construction 1, also known as McCarney. And 150 Construction, also known as LOL not telling my name. It's good. Okay, so he has the M360D and I have a 323DL. And we just switched the undercarriages. So, they're kind of customs. Yeah. First, we'll do the. That's this the is twenty. With the M three sixteen D undercarriage. It looks horrible. Yeah, it's just the body's so oversized on it. Is you can can't really tell. There, it's fat. <laughs> it's just see. It doesn't look good. And it's a it's lot. It's too. It's too big. Wider and just tall. And the boom. The boom just looks too big it's for the huge. machine. It looks huge. For the other carriage and everything. Yeah. But it's the complete opposite to this. Yeah, this, we we really like this. The bucket's gone. And this is the M316D. And With the 320. Yeah, undercarriage. Undercarriage. And I like the looks of it. I don't know. Uh, it, um, it looks cool with the mini excavator. With, it looks, I like the looks of the wide track. Yeah, how the undercarriage is really big on it. It's, so, it's pretty cool. And it's pretty close to a zero tail yeah. with the wide undercarriage. If, if, if you didn't have the counterweight, it would fit. Yeah. And with the boom all the way down on the this, you, you can, can actually... The under, undercarriage. So yeah. You can tell. It's actually touching the end of the page. Can't really tell, but it is. But it has, it just has a really cool look to it. The only bad thing is, uh, is the, the boom looks kind of small in it. Yeah, it feels a little bigger. Like the stick. But it reminds me of kind of a Libra excavator. Their design seems to be kind of like similar, similar like big undercarriage, small stick. I, I, I like the looks of it. But yeah, that's the only flaw to it is the boom, because it's meant to be a real excavator. Yeah, so that's, and if you can tell, the back doesn't hang off at all in that position. It's, and it just hangs off a little there, and a little there. On my, the 320 on the... Yeah, on this, <laughs> kind of looks... The undercarriage looks as good as a PC 400 made by Universal Hobbies. The undercarriage is so skinny and it's so long. So, this, it's on, it, the most it can really do is touch the scraper. Can't, again, can't really tell. But. So, and I'm thinking of maybe... I might get an M316D, so I can do this too, so I can do that, and I could just, if I want a 320, then I could just switch the tops. It's really easy, you just have to unscrew the four screws on the bottom for the 320, then unscrew this main screw, yeah. and to put the M316D body on this undercarriage, you'll need a little, slightly longer screw, like, I think the From screw... The the screw off the Kenworth, North Scott yep. Kenworth low boy will fit on it. W900 right here. That will just fit. It'll, if you take that out, it'll fit right And in. for the M316D undercarriage on the, <laughs> on the 320. Um, all you have to do is take two screws out here and then the main screw is down there. You can't really see it. Because the wheels come separate off from yeah, yeah. so we'll just 